G'day folks, this is Corey Hind. I hope you are really well. I want to talk more about Google Business Profile and the Services tab and how to update that correctly. A uh, couple of reasons why. Reason number one is lots of business owners aren't aware of the Services tab and why it's important. And number two is that Google keeps updating these, which is kind of training us to use the platform more and more and more. So I'll just pop my head out of the way so we can look at the content on here. So this this is your Google Business Profile Manager that you're probably quite used to. And when you go there looking to update your services, you need to roll down to the Services tab. Now, when you press that button there, all of your services that you currently have will sit over here. But quite often, up the top here, there'll be a note from Google saying that they've upgraded or ch made some changes based on user feedback and their own feedback. So no one really knows what that exactly means. And it doesn't really matter. You know, I don't think people are emailing Google to say, hey, this business should have this service. It's more about their robots crawling around the internet, gathering data from other places. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. There'll be a note up here and then you'll have some services listed that are in orange. So what you do is you press up the top, it'll say accept all changes. So you do that first, and then you need to roll through the services and ha have a look to see if it is a fair representation of what your business does. And then can you edit these to make them appeal to Google more? It's almost a bit of a sneaky Google hack. We notice when we take on clients for Google Business Profile Management, that very often their listings look like this. They don't have the details that you can have such as this. So up here it says Google Business Profile Management, and then I've got the option of writing stuff in there. And you'll see it gives me up to 300 characters, which is pretty useful. So you need to go back in there and optimize that. So for me, this says Google Business Profile. It says Tauranga, New Zealand. There's some keywords that I want to appeal for. I want Google to recognize me for. SEO consultants. I do some SEO work as well, which is ranking people higher on Google, the old-fashioned way, New Zealand. So go in there and optimize those as well. I really feel at the moment, I had this discussion with another marketer yesterday, I feel that Google's winning the business directory game. You know, you people use Google all the time now to find business solutions. I think we all do that all the time. And I think what they're trying to do is get us on the profile as much as possible so that we just become used to using Google as our go-to place on the internet. So I'm getting into my clients and my own listings here two or three times a week. And for a lot of my clients, these services need upgrading once every week or fortnight. So whether that's good or bad, I don't think it matters. I think what you need to do as a responsible business owner is get in there and check that it's appropriate for your business and then add content in here because a lot of your competition probably aren't doing that. All right. Hopefully that's useful. Please do subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll come back to you. Cheers, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.